Hello! Don't look for Vlog 1, it doesn't exist. I forgot to put the title screen for Vlog 1, so... <laughs> Welcome to Vlog 2! In this video, I'll be packing the monthly rewards for our snack club members, announcing what to expect from me for this week, and sharing a story about how I became a hardworking person. And at the very end, I have a message for all our snack club members. This is going to be a longer video, so grab a cup of tea, snuggle up in bed, and enjoy. So here's what to expect from me this week. I'm still going to try my best to post one video every single day. Whether it's going to be a long form video or a short video, I'll be doing a combination of both. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. I'll also be putting up two new listings on Etsy. The bunny buns and the bunny bakery sticker sheets. You might recognize that these sticker sheets are the ones that are being mailed out to my snack club members in this video. And after that, I'll do a sticker giveaway on my Twitter account. So if you are not in a position to actually purchase any stickers, or maybe you just want some free stickers, uh, check that out. Links in the description below. And here's the story about how I became a hardworking person. If you had told me that I was going to be a super productive person two years ago, I'd be confused. My entire life, I tended to not do anything. I made a friend who had a job in the art industry, which I thought was the coolest thing ever. <laughs> when I was being introduced to him, I was described as someone who taught myself art, how to make video games, and I was learning how to make music. Uh, <laughs> and I was like, whoa, 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 no, no, that's, that makes me sound way cooler than what I actually am. Stop, don't introduce me like that. Anyway. After that, my new friend would ask to hang out with me. And I was like, if I was in disbelief, there's no way he'd want to be my friend. He's way too cool for that. But he kept, he kept inviting me to hang out with him. And every time we spoke, he would say that he knew, he knew that I was very hardworking. And that's when I realized, oh, he actually thinks that I'm this amazing, hardworking person, and that's why he wants to be my friend. Shoot. <laughs> now, now I need to actually work hard, or else he won't want to be my friend anymore. So every week, I would make something, just so that I could talk about it and, <laughs> and keep up this facade that I was actually a hardworking person. And because I was working on something every week, I realized, wait a minute, this makes me a hardworking person. That's actually me now. Congratulations! If you made it this far into the video, it means that you're one of the 30% of everyone who watches this video who actually watches the whole way through. Welcome to the 30 percenters! <laughs> so for the rest of the video, I will be speaking freeform because I honestly don't have enough time to actually write a script and practice it or anything like that because I'm on a schedule of one video per day. Maybe I should slow that down so I can increase the quality. Anyway, so for the rest of the video, let's talk about things. So, 
what is it like being a person who sells stickers to the internet? Honestly, um, pretty busy. There's so many things that, you know, I could be doing at, at any moment. I have... I tend to compare myself to all of the other small business owners to see like, oh, what did they do? What did they do to grow their channel? What did they do to grow their following and that and get their sales, right? And I realized that there's so many things that they do that I don't, that I'm planning to do myself. But then I think, well, how am I supposed to do all of this stuff? <laughs> you know what I mean? Because they have thank you cards and business cards and their packaging is all custom made. Like they have their own, they've designed their own stickers. So I did announce that I am going to do those things, but the question is, when am I going to do that? Because it takes me a few hours every single day to make a video. It takes me a few hours every single day to make new sticker sheets. So I was researching like, well, I, I guess I've just been contemplating what order to do things in. So I realized, well, since I still have hundreds of these thank you stickers left, right? Uh, I probably shouldn't start with the custom stickers. What I should probably start off with uh, would more likely be the thank you card and the business card, right? So I was looking up business cards and thank you cards on the internet and I found a custom, uh, sorry, not a custom, but a template for a thank you card slash business card. And I realized it's two in one. <laughs> It's, it was literally a thank you card that was also a business card and it had um, a discount thingy on it. So I was thinking, yeah, that could work. I could, I could just make one card because, well, the thing is, it's really expensive to, to get cards manufactured if you don't print them yourself. And even if you do print them yourself, there's a huge upfront cost. Right? So I was thinking, well, that saves me a lot of money if I got it, uh, if I got one card that served all the purposes that I wanted, right? So like, thank you for your purchase. And here's a discount code for your next order. Cause currently right now I give people a discount code. Uh, Etsy actually has a feature that allows you to give uh, people who have bought your your stuff before to get a, a discount code. And so it's not like it's a new promotion on top of what I'm already doing. It was just a promotion that was already there, but I feel like people don't see it because they don't see the email that Etsy sends out. Or, or maybe they do, but you know, they don't tell me that they got a discount code. M maybe someday someone will see it, but... <laughs> it, it, they will definitely see it when they unpack the letter. Because uh, usually when people will get my stickers, they will, you know, they'll open the letter and spread it out very nicely over their desk or their bed and then take a picture of it. So they will definitely see their their order card and get that little that cute little disco that cute little discount and then it will also have my uh my links and stuff on it too and and what i could do is i could make those blank just in case i change my my name on all of my social media cards or um i could just get my new links, turn those into stickers, and then stick them on top of all of my, <laughs> all my business cards um, so that I could still use the business cards even after changing my name <laughs> up until I run out and then I could print new ones with my new social names. A anyway, that's just planning super far ahead into the future. That actually doesn't. That's not. That's actually not relevant to <laughs> to anything that's happening uh, soon or right now. So that's what I was thinking with that. 
uh, later later on today I still need to take pictures of my uh, bunny stickers the bunny bun and the bunny picnic stickers I have a light box to take pictures of those in uh, let me know in the chat below if I don't know if there's anything about my process that you have questions about <laughs> because I could answer them for anyone who's curious. I don't want to get too into detail right now because this is just a vlog, you know what I mean? It's a vlog, not a tutorial, so I gotta take pictures of those and then put those up on Etsy, like I said, like I announced at the beginning of the video. And I'm super excited to do my free sticker giveaway because I don't know, it's nice to see people interested in getting my stickers for free. Because there's a lot of people who they normally wouldn't be able to buy the stickers or they're not sure they want to, you know, spend money on my stickers. And I've actually had a few people who after they got a taste, <laughs> a free sample of my stickers, um, seeing like how much it meant to them to get the mail and the notes and being able to share the stickers with their family and friends, how, how much value they got from the stickers and, and supporting my work that they decided to join my snack club or become a customer basically so it's the free sticker giveaways have done a lot <laughs> have done a lot for me <laughs> and i'm sure they do a lot for the people who win them too For those of you who stuck to the very end, here is the special message for all of the snack club members. So if you are a part of the snack club and you're getting your mail delivered to you, I just want to say that the only reason why I'm doing uh, packing everyone's letters in the same video is because they were already pre-packed pretty much and I didn't have t enough time to record each letter being packed individually and the reason for that is because by the time it was time for me to send them out I needed to just get all of that done all in one day so that's sort of my fault for not planning things properly, <laughs> for not giving myself enough time to pack everyone's mail individually. Next time though, I do plan to pack everyone's, everyone's mail individually. I think I will have enough time for that. Because I have experience now. I can plan these things. It'll probably be like one day where I just record packing everyone's letters individually and then over the course of the next two weeks I can make a TikTok with the recordings that I have. Because I realized I don't have to record for one video each day. I can record like, you know, I could record like 10 videos in one day and then spend the next 10 days just focusing on editing the footage that I took on that one day. I could batch it. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching until the very end. You're amazing and awesome and I hope that you have a very great rest of your day. Bye bye!